Greetings everyone, this is the Hipster Snake, and today we're going to be playing Catnap! <laughs> this goofy, very, very silly game. And there we go. Where I play as this young lady here, and we nab cats. Yeah, um, as you see here, I have played a little bit. I have a general idea of how this game goes. Whoops. <laughs> so, we have limited time. We need to grab all the cats we can. Within reason, our bag does have limits, and the more cats you're carrying, the slower you go. But the world is circular, so if I continue this lap, I will get back. Is that guy watching me from that window? Not carrying any cats makes you go faster, so the strategy, at least near as I can tell, is you, you want to get a good combo, and you don't want to push the button randomly because that will throw cats out of your bag, thus kind of, you know, breaking your nice combo. <laughs> this, this game was free on Steam, and it just was such a random concept, I had to try it. I, I don't even really understand why I'm enjoying this so much, but I am. It's like five is about the most I can carry for right now. Now, some of your stats are variable. You have some customization of your character here. Ah, uh, out of time. Cat burglar. That's 32. All right, I beat my old score. Look at me go. Now the number of cats in the house, I think, stays the same. It just gives you the option to uh, to collect them. Now you see, we do have stats, and we are free to retool them. You don't level up in this game. It's not as far as I can tell. Um, but honestly, it feels like my cat capacity is kind of low. Speed seems pretty important. I'm gonna see if I can go with uh, slightly lowered reflexes. Which I think is just her uh, ability to grab the cats. And uh, here's a quick breakdown. Game by Toffer Games. The bad art, probably more. And starring Clark for his excellent and talented voice acting. And the great art by Diego de Solor. Uh, this really, really well done. Um, I'm having way, way, way... Way too much fun with this. There, uh, there I am. I, I don't think I've synchronized to the greater leaderboards, so... Oop. Can't mess up the opportunity. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly how much the stats influence different things. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> that was... Whoops. And now you see what happens if you try to get greedy and carry too many cats. Uh, which is precisely what happened right just there. But the game does have a couple achievements. I want to say it has like six or seven. And I'm at full cat capacity, so I'm going to drop them off. <laughs> if you end up pushing the button randomly and throwing a cat out of your bag, you actually can... Um, with good timing, you can tap it again and actually put them back in the bag. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what cat-like reflexes actually influences, because I seem to be doing just fine without it. Whoa! What? What? Why did that explode? What just happened there? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Okay, it can't go lower than one, but it can't go higher than seven. So we're going to see if uh, my greedy play style will pay off. <laughs> this... I mean, that's literally all there is to this game. If you're wondering if there's more or if, like, some master cumulative cat counter, there is not. Uh, I assure you there isn't. I did a few test runs just to make sure the game would cooperate on my potato, but, like, no, this this is it. This is the game. 
And I love it, and I wouldn't ask for a single thing to be changed, 10 out of 10, game of the year. Um, it's just, I, I mean, it's literally corralling cats, the game. Uh, so if you guys want to know what it's like to get the Tomodachi Bros together in order to do our own podcast, this game is a great metaphor for it. Yeah, Cat Pacity seems to be the name of the game. Like, if I'm just going as fast as I can, I can build up a little extra time. Put him back. I really need to start counting manually. That little red bar on the side of the bag is actually not as helpful as you'd think it is. I keep getting greedy, so it keeps me away from the door for really long spans of time. And I think if I, I hung closer to it, I could probably do more. I turned the master volume down. Why is that still so loud? I guess that's my punishment, right? So you can kind of, like, juggle cats, and it does not help you at all. In fact, it actually hurts you, but it's so entertaining to do. At a certain point, you just kind of pass the point of no return. You just gotta hope that you can loop back around to your house before time's up. And I could not. Uh, but yeah, no, 48. We, we are getting... Decently, passably good at this. Um, I should synchronize with the, the full leaderboards and like see if there's like a meta to this game. I bet there is. Is there someone out there who's figured out some strategy I haven't pieced together just yet? Drop these guys off. I don't know if cat capacity actually impacts... Um, like, how much having a bunch of cats on your back slows you down, if at all? See, it's, it's kind of preferable to, to wait for the cats to kind of spawn around your house. And then you, you get to take the cats from there. Um, but I don't know, like, sometimes you just have to, because, like, some just don't appear for a while, and... I think their drop is randomized, so, like, some runs are just going to be luckier than others. Look, like you can keep that bonus multiplier high. Um, that helps a lot. I never thought I'd have to say the words, I don't know how, <laughs> you know, the cat bonus multiplier stacks. I don't know if it's, like, when you pick up cats, or when you drop them off, or if it's, like, a little bit of both. Yeah, cat passity is definitely the meta mechanic. I, I have not had need for cat-like reflexes. I'm afraid of, like, overfilling and then spilling all the cats that I already have, but there's, like, so many... And, like, obviously, the longer you go, the more cats fall from the sky, because that's how cats reproduce. Or at least that's what Dutaku tells me Pugums reproduce, so... Something about stealing their social security numbers, and... I don't know. It was a little above my pay grade, so... Looks like the combo multiplier impacts how much time you get back when you drop the cats off. Whoops. I thought that was my house. But no, obviously my house would be the one with the cat on it. Come on, cats, you gotta go. Whoops. I ruined it. No! I ruined everything! Oh no, just like always, the hipster snack manages to ruin everything for himself. Why does the world explode when time is up? What is happening in this game? And why am why does it look like this character might not be fully sober right now? This red cat knows what's up. Oh, I, I'm I'm on uh, friends only mode. Wonder how I change that. I'd, I'd be curious to see the global ranking. Okay, I'm gonna take one more go and and. I say that, but this is one of those games where one more go is like you're still playing two hours later.
Oops, went through the cat. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that's why you can't just mash the pick up cat button. The game is wise to possible shenanigans. But not having cats on you, man. I move like lightning. I knew I was, I was pretty close. Kind of use that dude, the creepy dude in the window staring at me as like my landmark for uh, how close I am to home when I'm doing one of those big loops around the block. <laughs> All right, right capacity, cat capacity. And the cats don't really seem to like, avoid you necessarily, but they don't seem to come to you either. They just kind of go wherever they want because, you know, they're cats. I was always told that cats are an introvert's pets, whereas dogs are an extrovert's pets. I think there's some wisdom to that. I, th I think I make a run around the block. I think I can make it. The, the block is relatively small, so like it's not hard to get past the point of no return. Especially when you're like going at your unburdened speed, and suddenly you're like flying down. No, 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 no! I still have time. No. <laughs> oh, it actually counted. Oh my gosh, that actually worked. I got the timer going again. I'm not gonna pull that off twice, but man, that was that was pretty cool. I didn't know that like that was the thing you could even do. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't go anywhere. This is uh, that's just so you can kind of practice with the game mechanics a little bit. All right, one more run. It's like this is a lot of fun. Um, Topher Games, you have you have made a very distinct and entertaining game based on a. A very silly concept, and I salute you for it. Actually, I adore things like this. It's like these little, silly, ultimately kind of pointless games, but like, there's also kind of a bit of a depth and customization to it, because like you can mess with your stats to, to play the game the way you want to play it. So like if you do an entire lap around the neighborhood, I kind of feel like capacity is like non-negotiable. But at the same time, if you're, if you're playing like a little more conservatively, maybe speed, it would actually be better. Like, I might actually uh, need to try that, see if like speed is more important than capacity. It's like, that could, there could be something to it, right? Like grabbing five and running back rather than trying to grab like eight and run back. Like, I don't know how the scoring in the game works yet, so it's like, maybe that would be better, but maybe that would be less efficient? I'm really trying to dissect the gameplay of a game about a crazy lady running around the city block, just throwing cats in a bag. Oh, and the achievement for overfilling your bag for the first time, it's exactly what you think it is. Like the very first joke, the joke you're thinking like right the second. The cat's meow. The joke you're thinking right now is exactly indeed the name of the achievement for, for overfilling your cat bag. Those blue ones look like they're ghosts. Like, I don't know what to make of that. Are you a ghost kitty? Maybe it's that ghost cat from the Mandela catalog. Mm -hmm. 
I like how they just purr when you carry them around. Whoops. It's kind of a little grace period. If you're fast and you, like, throw one by accident, you have kind of a brief window in which to recover them. See, in my head, I'm thinking this lady is, like, animal rescue, and she's only bringing them to her house, like, in order to foster them out, make sure they get their shots. Oh yeah, maybe this is like a, a chance for like a public service announcement. The vast majority of the United States cat population is feral. And this is actually why it's really important... Ugh, really important to wear hearing protection while playing this game. Uh, it's really important to spay and neuter your cats, because so many end up feral. And they can be in endangered by human activity, if like, especially in a uh, more urban area. Uh, there's always the danger of a cat being hit by a car. But if they're properly spayed and neutered and have their shots, not only is it a much healthier environment, because there's always going to be wild cats. Like, there's, there's never not going to. Uh, but they also play a part in the urban ecosystem of controlling pests. Uh, so if you have pets, be sure that you're taking the proper steps of being a responsible pet owner and having your cat spayed and neutered accordingly. And if you don't know which one, just go to the vet. They'll tell you. You can tactfully avoid needing to even ask just by... Oh, I ran out of time. <laughs> oh, man, that was definitely my best run. So now I'm curious. I'm going to do one little... Um, say two points out of cat capacity and put into speed. Because, like, reflexes seem kind of useless to me. I have not... I have yet to find a significant mechanical purpose for them. So I should be able to carry, like, what, six as opposed to eight, I think? Close enough. Maybe I can use, like, crazy speed force powers to just, whoops, to lose all my cats like an idiot. <laughs> I'm so fast! It's so fast, like, as soon as I throw them, I can, like, immediately recover them. Yeah, six is max capacity. If I actually take the time to do the math, I can actually kind of control the cat uh, movement pretty efficiently. I can get this, like, absolutely ludicrous speed. I can just go straight to plaid like this. Like, even my, like, my capacity speed is, like, pretty comparable to what I was just walking at unencumbered before. So yeah, I think speed and cat capacity are, are definitely the must-have stats. Cat. <laughs> Never seen a green cat before, but I guess weirder things have happened. Yeah, remember, pets are expensive. And they're an investment, because they become family members, so... Whenever you're getting a pet, especially if you have small children, keep that in mind. If you can't handle the responsibilities of a real pet, there are lots of virtual pets and pet simulators that will bridge that particular gap. Don't think that you can teach a kid responsibility by giving them a pet. That's not true, and it puts the animal in unnecessary danger. I'm not saying the kid would deliberately harm it, but that's not the reality. It's much more likely that they'd end up neglecting it. Cat capacity is still important, though. It's not like you can go without it. Cat burglar. <laughs> I was doing better with higher cat capacity, but speed definitely has something to be said for it. Let's see, how much time do I have left? Oh, I have gone, like, way longer than I meant to. <laughs> this game is kind of dumb, but I love it a lot. And um, hats off to the game dev. Um, was it Topher Games? Let me run over to their credit screen. I completely lost track of time while playing this. Uh, everyone listed here, especially Clark, who did a fantastic voice, as a uh, fantastic job as a voiceover. Uh, this really great job done, everyone. Um, 
This game is silly and goofy and kind of dumb, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. Everyone should play this game. It's free, it's on Steam. It, it took, like, a minute to download and install and get ready to play. So there's no reason not to. Uh, you should definitely try out Catnab. This is the Hipster Snack, signing off.